Howdy campers and welcome to your very first CSS tips and tricks tutorial and since it's the festive season and all in this episode I'm going to show you how we can create some Christmas lights using only HTML and CSS. Alright, so quickly, just before we start with the code, um, I am going to be hosting all of the course files on this repository right here, CSS Tips and Tricks, and there's going to be a separate branch for each different lesson. So since this is the first one, we're going to choose 01 Christmas Lights, and this is going to be the end code for that project, okay? So you can see all in this Christmas Lights folder, just an HTML file and a styles.css file. So you can go ahead and download that by going to the appropriate branch, so number one, and then go into clone or download and download in the zip files, okay? So just a quick preview of what we're gonna be making, something like this, where we've got these flickering lights at the top and this text right here, which is actually a Google font, which looks quite Christmassy. So let us start with the index file. So I'm not gonna go through creating this because it's really simple. All I've done is linked up a style sheet in the head, which is linking to this styles.css file right here. In fact, let me just zoom this dude right in so we can see. Okay, so this is the style sheet we're linking to. And then right here, this is the link to the Google font, which is outputting this thing right here. So if you just wanna pause the video and paste that in, or just download the files, it's already gonna be there for you. So in the body, we have this UL with an ID of wire. This represents this wire going across the top right there. Then each LI tag represents a different light bulb that's flickering right here. So put as many of those in as you like. Then this H2 is this Merry Christmas thing right here. Okay, so in the styles to begin with, all I've done is set the body background and the margin. So we've got this deep gray background and the margin of zero. The H2 have styled as well, color of white, position relative, just give it a margin from the top, text align to the center, uh, letter spacing, 0.2 M's, just to give us that little spacing in between the letters. Font size right there. This is the font family I've loaded in from Google Fonts. And then this is the text shadow, which is giving it this glow right here. Okay, so, that's all pretty simple to begin with. Now what I'm gonna do is save that dude and this should auto refresh over here so no longer we have those light bulbs, just these dark black dots which look nothing like Christmas lights. So let us start, how do we do this? Well, first of all, I want to style the wire UL itself, okay? So remember we had that kind of wire that went from left to right. I'm gonna style that out first of all. So the first thing I wanna do is say hash wire to grab the ID. And then I'm going to say text align is going to be center. And what that's going to do is centralize all the bulbs. So if you've only got four bulbs, it's going to bring them all to the center. Okay. Next thing we want to do is say white space with a hyphen in between. No wrap. And then below that, I'm going to say position is going to be absolute because we're going to position this absolutely at the top of the page. We're going to give it no padding. We're going to strip that off completely. Um, we're going to say the width is 100% of whatever page it's on. So if it's this big, it's 100%. If it's this big, it's 100%. Then what we're going to do is we want to take it a little bit up to the top. So we want to take it kind of so it's above this so we only see the bottom of it if you like okay so what i'm doing is saying top minus 80 pixels like that right then i'm going to give the border bottom um a stroke of about three pixels or something like that and that is what is going to give us the wire going across so i'm going to say border hyphen bottom is three pixels solid and then 222 two, two, which is like a dark gray but not quite as dark as this background which is one 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 all right, so if you see now, we've got this line going all the way across like so, okay? Right then, one more thing I wanna do is set a height on this UL because right now it's quite tall and that's because we've got all the different elements sitting in it, but I wanna set a height of it to about 100 pixels. So we'll say height is 100 pixels, save that, and now this should skew up a little bit, yeah. So that's where we want our wire to go, okay? Okay, so next thing we need to do is style all of these LI tags. So we're styling the bulbs in essence. So let us just scoot down here a little bit and it's wire LI and I'll just give ourselves a bit more room so we can see. 
okay? So, first of all, position is going to be relative. And we're using position relative so that we can nudge it down a little bit, okay? Because right now it's going to sit within the UL, but we need to nudge each bulb down a bit so it's sitting below this wire as if it's hanging from the wire, okay? So, list style is going to be none. We'll get rid of those bullets. Then we'll take away any margin that may be on it and also any padding that may be on it. We're also going to display each one of these as inline hyphen block and that will basically sit them next to each other, left to right. We're going to give each one a width and we'll say that's about 15 pixels. We'll also give each one a height of around 30 pixels. So they're going to be 30 pixels long coming down and then 15 pixels wide. Um, we'll say in fact, let's change this margin from zero to zero and then 15 uh, pixels left and right. So that's just gonna spread out the bulbs from the left to the right a little bit, okay? Uh, next, I want to say a border radius, and that's gonna be about 50%. So that's gonna give us the curvature of those bulbs, yeah? Then I'll come down and I'll say top about 102 pixels. Uh, I'm not just guessing this, I've already done it previously, that's why I'm coming up with a number so specific, and it was 102 pixels, so that's, again, going to bring those bulbs down for us, okay? Uh, then, after top, we want to say the animation details. Now, we've not created the animation yet, so we'll just leave a comment instead, which says animation stuff here, okay? So, We'll do the animations later. For now, let's just give this a background color so we can see these dudes on the screen. So we'll say background, and we'll just say FFF, which is white. So I'm gonna save that, and now we can see those things right there. And the reason we've not got a border radius is because I've called it Norder radius. So let's change that to a B, and now we see those bulbs. So they're taking shape now, right? So ideally, what we want is for these to glow in and out, and we want them to fade, so we want the opacity to change from 1 to maybe 0 0.2. We want them to go darker as well. So the two different properties we're going to animate right here is the opacity of each Li element. And then we're also going to give each of the bulbs a different box shadow. And that box shadow is going to represent the glow, and that's going to glow in and out as well. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is create those animations. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say at keyframes. And by the way, if you don't know what CSS animations are, I've got a whole series on CSS animations where I take from beginner to ninja. I'll leave the link to that down below so you can have a look at that. So we give this a name, this animation, which is going to be called even flash. And the reason it's called even flash is because it's going to um, flash every even element in the list. And we're going to create an odd flash later but for now this even flash is going to do everything okay so this even flash animation what do we want to put inside well first of all we want to say well at zero percent we want to say what the state of this animation is going to be and the state is going to have those two properties the background color and also the box shadow so the background first of all is going to be rgba and I've done RGBA so that we can add an alpha channel on the end, which controls the opacity of that background, because I said we're gonna animate the opacity, if you like, or the color of the bulb. So the color I've chosen was this one right here, 255, then 230, then 65, and then the alpha channel is gonna be one, that means it's fully visible. Okay, so that's the first property. Uh, the second one is gonna be the box shadow, this is going to be 0 pixels, 2 pixels, 20 pixels, and 4 pixels, and then RGBA. This is also going to be the colour of the glow, if you like, around it. This is going to be exactly the same as this dude right here. So the glow and the background are going to be similar, okay? So that's the state of this animation at 0%. Now, when it gets halfway through the animation, at 50%, we want to reduce this right here so that it's not as glowy or not as bold, okay? So let us now come down here and say 50%, and I'm going to paste these two things right here in here, and I'm just going to change this number to 0 0.5 and this number to 0 0.3. So what we're doing 
is just reducing the opacity of these colors so it goes darker so it's glowing from bright to dark okay so at 100 percent, we want it to go back to bright again because it starts off bright goes dark halfway through and then at 100 percent goes bright again now instead of writing 100 percent down here like this all we need to do is tack it on to this thing right here because it's going to use exactly the same properties as this okay so now we've created that animation we can add this animation right here on this element so how do we do that well first of all we're going to say animation hyphen name and this is this thing right here even flash so i'll say even flash that's the animation name then after that i want to say animation duration and this is going to be about one second so every one second it's going to flash then after that i want to say animation hyphen iteration hyphen count and this is going to be infinite so this is how many times the animation is going to continue for and then i'm going to say animation hyphen fill hyphen mode and i'm going to set this to both which is basically going to extend the animation once it's finished we kind of loop it if you like almost so i'm going to save this and let's view it in a browser now and now we have that animation going on that looks pretty cool so far but it's all one color at the minute what we'd like is for every other light bulb to be a different color so this is where we can say wire li nth child and then specify odd so this is going to grab every odd li and then we can say animation hyphen name and this is going to be odd hyphen flash now we've not got that just yet but all we need to do is copy this and paste it down below change this to odd and then what i'll do now is add in some different colors so the color i've chosen for the second bulb is kind of like a pinky color and all we need to do is change this middle one to 65 and then this last one to 185 so let's copy that and paste it in each one of these like so and then save it once we're done and check this out now now we have the two different colors which looks pretty cool now this is good but i want to give it more of a twinkle effect where say the light ones glow and the pink ones fade and vice versa after it's finished so the way we can do that is by exchanging this with the 50 percent okay so at zero and a hundred percent they're going to be faint and halfway through they're going to be bright so let's save that now let's check this out now it's got more of a twinkle effect that is pretty cool so this is pretty much done just one more thing to do and that is to add on the little caps at the top of these bulbs to make it look a little bit more realistic as though the wire is attached to the bulb itself and the bulbs are just floating near the wire so to do that we're going to come down here and we're going to say wire li then pseudo class before and this is going to inject some content before the li tag if you like or at the beginning of it and the content is just going to be empty but this means we can style that little bit before the li so we want to say position absolute and by the way if you want to learn more about pseudo classes check out my css for beginners tutorial series i'll leave the link to that down below as well so position absolute the width is going to be around 14 pixels uh, the height about 10 pixels then the border radius is going to be about four pixels the top we're going to shift it up a little bit so it's at the top of the bulb and that's going to be around minus five pixels minus because we're going up okay left is going to be zero and then the background color is going to be about four 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 which is kind of like a lighter gray so there we go again i spelled border radius incorrectly so let's change that and this should now work and there we go voila now we have our lights like so and like i said you can add as many of these lights as you like so if we go into the index and add more lights let's see what that looks like save it and check it out this time they extend almost all the way across let's just add one more batch come down here paste in save 
and check that out. There we go, we have our Christmas lights. So if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to share and subscribe and like, and I'm gonna see you in the very next one.